Hey there, Norman here from WoCode, and today we're going to be discussing the FX Frost widget. This widget creates a blur effect or a frosted glass look, which is what the widget is named after. The blur can be added to an image or a video. This widget is very useful for making text and buttons much easier to read against a busy background. In our demo, we can see an example of the blur applied to a column. And below that, we can see the blur is applied to a row. So let's go ahead and jump into our builder here. Here in the builder, we have the Pokey Restaurant. And I'd like to make the text on this hero a little bit easier to read against this background. A color overlay would help, and we can add that right in the design options for the image. But in this case, we'll use the FX Frost widget to add a blur. We're going to grab that widget out of the widgets panel, drop it right underneath the see the cart button. And just like that, we can see the blur effect kicks in and our title, text and buttons are instantly easier to read. This widget is really that simple to use. You just drag it and drop it into a row or column to blur it. The one and only option in the content area is the apply to option, which does exactly what it says. It allows us to apply the effect to a row, column, an entire page, etc. And like the other widgets in the FX series, this is applied as a background, so other widgets can be added to the row or column as well. And as I mentioned earlier, this can be added on videos also. So if I were to change this hero row background to a video, it would still work. So let's take a look at the design tab. We'll cover a few of the customization options in here. The first one is the blur size. This setting essentially controls the strength of the blur. Right now we have it at 10. If we bump this up to 64, we can see that that blur is much more intense. And if we bring that back down to 12, we can see it's a lot softer. If we jump down below that, we have a few additional effects. We have a grayscale and a sepia, which can be used for added further effects. We also have below that the effects value, and this slider controls the strength of the sepia and grayscale effects. But keep in mind, this is just for the sepia and grayscale effects. The blur strength is controlled by the blur size setting. And lastly, there is a hide overflow on target element toggle. This enables the blur to spill outside of its container. If we turn this off, we can see the blur outside of the container on our hero widget. And if we turn it on, we see that disappears. Let's take this additional effect off. Let's increase that blur size quite a bit. Right now we can see on the side over here, there's no overspill. If we turn that off, we can see here we have that overspill. And then if we turn that back on, that overspill is gone. It's subtle, but it can be used in various different design settings to create a unique look in between the rows. A few closing thoughts for this widget. The Gaussian blur that's being applied with this widget does take some processing power from the GPU to generate the effect. The higher the value used in the blur size setting, the more processing power it takes to render the blur. You may see a slight delay before the blur is applied, and that is caused by the rendering of the effect. To keep the delay minimum, use the smallest blur size needed to achieve the effect, and consider that larger images will result in more GPU power needed. By larger, I don't mean the pixel dimensions of the image. I mean the space that's being taken up by the image in the layout. So a small column versus a full bleed row. And lastly, you can always do this the old fashioned way, which is to prep your image in Photoshop or another image editor outside of the builder and apply the blur before uploading it. That method, of course, will not result in any delay to process because the effect is already applied to the image directly. The trade off is that you will not have the ability to work as quickly and spontaneously within your site design and easily control the amount of blur used without first making changes outside of the builder, re-uploading the image, et cetera, and so forth. With that being said, that's going to do it for our FX Frost widget. Until next time, my name is Norman Durkee, and you have been rocking with the best website builder platform on the planet, wocode.com. And if you have any questions, definitely reach out to support. We're always here to help.